If you're watching this, you are probably a surface pattern designer looking for ways to improve your workflow and productivity. So you have uh, lots of ideas, you have a, a library full of um, lovely motifs that are just ready to be turned into a pattern. But sometimes, um, maybe after making the hero patterns, we might get stuck uh, for ideas for the blender or the coordinating uh, patterns for our collections. So how do we go forth from here? How are we going to arrange these uh, beautiful motifs and uh, how are we going to create a cohesive pattern collection? Wouldn't it be great if we could just start creating uh, a pattern collection with just a few clicks of, of the mouse and that would give us uh, plenty of choices of uh, layouts that we could uh, just uh, pick from. That is why I created this class. Hi, I'm Katia. I'm a surface pattern designer and artist, and I'm based in sunny Sicily in Italy. In this class, I will show you what symbols are and how they work, how to create and save a library of symbols, including symbols for your backgrounds, how to create and use actions to speed up your work, how to set up uh, randomly and manually arranged uh, pattern templates, how to use scripts to create random layouts of motifs, how to randomly rotate, flip and shrink your motifs, how to make pattern tiles, and how to export your tiles to upload on POD sites uh, such as Spoonflapper, for example. By the end of this class, you will have a library of templates to get you started, uh, but you will also have acquired uh, the skills and knowledge to make more symbols and templates of your own. And also you can apply this newfound knowledge for other uh, projects as well. You will find two bonus lessons in this class and also an Adobe Illustrator template uh, file, which contains all the templates I show you how to make in the, during the class. Uh, but also it contains 27 uh, color palettes, just in case you need some help and inspiration with uh, color combinations. This class is for you if you know already how to make a repeat tile, uh, because I'm not going to go into too much of the theory of making a repeat uh, tile. Uh, and also if you have a knowledge of Adobe Illustrator, it would be uh, very helpful. Um, even a basic knowledge, better still if it's uh, an intermediate knowledge. If you want to learn more about how to make a repeat tile, uh, you can check out my other class, uh, which is called the nine most common surface pattern repeats and how to create them, uh, where I explain uh, exactly how to make a repeat tile, starting from the very simple square repeat. For this class, you will need Adobe Illustrator, of course, and I'm using the CC version, uh, but you can use, I think, a few versions before that, uh, but I don't think we, we can go very old. <laughs> and you will need uh, some uh, motifs uh, already vectorized and ready to be used. Okay, so if you are ready, let's get started.